Little a tour in universe. First of all, what is space or universe? Are we inside space? What if we are not? This area located between the Earth and the universe 100 kilometers, 60 miles, is called the space area. Why the atmosphere is going from blue to dark or space is dark? Because, while the oxygen density in this area varies from blue to black due to the lack of much oxygen, it includes creatures, planets, stars, galaxies, dust clouds. So, where are we exactly of the universe? What if we lost or going far away in the universe? Currently, nobody outside the observable universe has any precise information about the size of the universe. Isn't that what really excites you? In fact, based on decades of observations, astronauts now believe that the observable universe has been measured over about 46 billion light years. Moreover, it's observable because when you consider what we can't see, scientists think it's 92 billion light years longer. 92 billion years. It is incredible and super exciting. The long distances in space are calculated as light years. The light year is a unit of length used to express astronomical distances and measures about 9.46 trillion kilometers. What about sound in space? Does the sound carry from space? Astronauts, how contact each other in space or ISS? Sounds cannot be carried in space because molecules are not close enough to transmit sound between them. In addition, there are gaps in the universe, but that doesn't mean the space is empty. So, how do the astronauts communicate in space? They make use of radio waves. Radio waves signal are sent their headsets that in turn translates the signal in the form of sound. While communicating with people on Earth, the radio waves are transmitted which in turn are transformed to sound waves by a radio set. Radio waves come from the light spectrum called electromagnetic spectrum and thus they are light waves. Unlike sound, light waves don't need a medium to travel and it is for this reason that the sun ray travels through space to the Earth. Isn't it amazing? Absolutely it is amazing. What about gravity? Gravity is the force that a planet or other body pulls objects toward its center. The force of gravity keeps all planets in orbit around the sun. And what about stars, planets, asteroids, and comets? Stars, like our own sun, are enormous balls of gas that produce their own radiations. They can range from red supernovae to white dwarfs that are leftovers of supernovae, or starbursts that occur when the gas runs out to burn a large one. Asteroids are rocks that are not large enough to be dwarf planets, and their small size often leads to the conclusion that they have been remnants from the moment the solar system was formed. Most of the asteroids are concentrated in an arch between the planets Mars and Jupiter. How comets occur in universe? What do you think about that? Comets in our solar system. As a comet approaches the sun, the heat of our star causes the ice to melt and move away from the comet. Ancients often associated comets with destruction or a tremendous change in the Earth. What is the Big Bang? The Big Bang is how astronomers explain how the universe began. It is the idea that the universe started out as just a single point, then expands and stretches to grow as much as it is now. What is black holes? A black hole is a field with such great gravity that nothing can escape from it, even light. How fast is the Earth moving? What about you in universe? The surface of the Earth at the equator moves at a speed of 460 meters per second or roughly 1,000 miles per hour. This velocity is too much higher for humans on Earth. However, where we are going to? What will be the end of the universe? Really, we lost in the universe or we will be lost in there. So, we have considered all of the questions in mind and try to answer. Let's write to us what you think about that in your comment section. We can't wait to see your opinion about that discussion.